this has been a day of tribute, a day of reflection. All through our newscast, we've been running your messages at the bottom of the screen. And our coverage continues coming up in our special 7-7, A City Moves Forward. Ron Corning is live at DPD headquarters with a preview now. Ron? Cynthia, John, this has been a year of healing for these families of the fallen, and there have been literal signs of support, as you can see here from behind me, from members of the community. But, you know, it takes so much more than that. It takes those who really understand what these families are going through. And, in fact, tonight we will speak with two widows who know all too well what the families of the fallen are contending with. Burying your husband at 30 and having to go through picking out a casket and flowers. Um, it was almost like buying a car, you know, having to pick out. It was, it was absolutely the worst thing. Some heartbreaking stories coming up here in our next half hour. And you see Marie Saavedra sitting down with the widows of other fallen officers as they help those who were killed a year ago. She was among those covering the Dallas ambush a year ago, which started out as a peaceful protest and took a dramatic turn a little after 9 o'clock our time. We will hear her account, some chilling memories, and other members of our News 8 crews as well coming up in our next half hour. John and Cynthia, back to you. All right, Ron, thank you. And we will be back in three minutes. Don't forget, for more news, weather, and traffic, we are always on WFAA.com. And as we head to the break, a look at the Dallas skyline.